I'm Ms. Newburn, and I've been teaching mathematics for about 15 years. And one concept that students often struggle with is that of integers, or positive and negative whole numbers. And there's a couple of things that you can create at home that'll really make this a much easier concept. And I wish I'd had them when I was um, learning them way back, way back when. Um, one of the things you can do is you can go to a hardware store and you can get what are called tile spacers. These ones happen to be a quarter of an inch, and you can get them at any big hardware store that sells tiles. You can go to a tile specialty place. And what they look like is their little pluses. And we can use these to actually represent positive numbers. And you can just take a pair of regular scissors and cut off two sides. So what you can do is you can create negatives. So now we have a bunch of positives and negatives. And in another video, if you look on, click on one of the other videos, I'll show you how we can use these. So once again, these are really easy. They're not that expensive. And if you really like to learn stuff by doing it, this is a great tool and they're fun. Another thing you can do is you can get accounting paper or just kind of any long paper. Um, you can obviously use a number line that your teacher, that your teacher's given you or make one on the computer but I like to have ones that are a little bit bigger. I just think it's a lot easier to see the numbers. I don't make mistakes as much, and I see kids don't make as much uh, as many mistakes. So this is accounting tape. You've probably seen it at you know a number of grocery stores. Anyone who's got a cashier um, cash register has one of these. And what you want to do is just cut off about two feet and take a ruler. I like to do it in two colors, so I have. Um, I have positives in one color and negatives in another. And once again, I use about half inch so that it's big enough to see, but it's not so long that it's you know not usable. So this is kind of what it looks like. I'll put a little closer. So once again, zero is one color, just to distinguish it as a neutral number. And then the negatives I put in red and I put the positives in green. You can choose whichever colors you obviously want, once again, about a, about a half inch uh, on your ruler for each space. So once again, kind of the three things you can use, tile spacers, getting just a simple roll of accounting tape, or you can just get a number line that your teacher creates, or you can make one on the computer. They're all pretty easy to make, and it really just makes it a lot more visual and more interesting, which is pretty much what it's all about. Okay, best wishes and look at, check out some of the other videos and hopefully this will really help you learn integers. And once again, one of the techniques or suggestions I tell my students, it's really about practicing, practicing, practicing. Doing lots of problems, figuring out where your mistakes are and then kind of correcting it. And this will be one piece that'll really help you to kind of visually see why the concepts are as they are. Okay, best wishes.